Hello TSB family, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Imani and I am a beauty contributor here at TSB. So today's makeup tutorial is a nude look for the workplace. It's super like subtle. It looks really put together. It looks like, you know, we put some time and energy into our look today, but it's not like I beat my face to the gods. I think this is really appropriate for the workplace. Everything about this is like subtle yet it girl. You know what I mean? Like you can be a baddie while you get your coin, okay? So yeah, I don't wanna babble. I just wanna get right into the tutorial. Yeah, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out our other social medias. And the tutorial will start soon. So my brows are already done. Yeah, I'm just going to begin on the face. Usually, I like to do my eyeshadow first. However, because of the makeup look that we're doing today, I'm going to do my face first and then my eyeshadow, and then you'll just see why. So, I'm gonna just get into it today. So, for foundation, I'm gonna use a very lightweight foundation. This is the NYX Total Control Draw Foundation. It's full coverage, it's lightweight, it's breathable. It feels like skin, but then it looks like your skin, but better, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to use a couple drops I'm going to spread this out with my finger because I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend this out and I'll explain why Okay, so I'm using my beauty blender to blend the foundation out as opposed to a brush because you, when I use my beauty blender, it picks up any extra product that I don't need. So it gives me the coverage that I need, but anything that's left over, the beauty blender soaks it up. And I think that's important in making sure that it's not cakey. So foundation is on, now we can move on to concealer. So I'm gonna use my favorite concealer in the world. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is like the cheapest yet most full coverage, long lasting concealer that I've ever used. You can get it at your local beauty supply store for I think like $2.99. They come in all shades and colors. Like I've been using this since middle school and it's still like one of the best of all the concealers that have been released since then. Like it's literally the best. I'm going to take some concealer also and put it on my eyelids because this is going to be like the, the base for my eyeshadow color today so i'm pretty sure that like when you're at work like the last thing you want to do is worry about like how your face looks and like you know if anything's melting off so one thing i like to do is let the concealer like dry on my face for a little bit before i blend it out so that it ensures that we get like maximum coverage the concealer is already pretty much full coverage but um letting it sit and then blending it out literally like takes it up like another notch. So I'm gonna leave this on for about a minute and then I'm gonna blend it out. In the meantime, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 375 Java. I'm gonna use this to contour my face. Gotta look snatched even when you're at work, you know? So I'm just applying that to my cheekbone. And it's not a dramatic chisel it's just something to give the face some shape and i'm gonna tap this out with my beauty blender some shape and some dimension so that we're not all one toned out here so now i'm going to blend out my concealer and i'm going to start with my chin and work my way up If this is good enough for you, then that's fine. You can totally stop here. If you want a little bit more extra coverage like me, then I'm going to add a little bit more to the areas that I feel like I really need it. Um, right here, here. And I'm not going to wait for this to dry. I'm just going to blend this out immediately.
Then I'm gonna use the butt of my beauty blender and go over the contour and like the highlighted areas. Not really over them, but between them to make sure that everything is you know, seamless. Again, I think it's really important that when you're doing makeup for work, that you have makeup on that is gonna last the entire work day. It's not gonna start acting funny halfway through the day. And something that I don't normally do on like a normal day, I'm gonna bake because you want everything to be in place all day, not budging, not looking good at 8 a.m. and like trash at like 5 p.m. So the two powders I'm gonna use are the Airspun powder and the Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in the shade 35. I'm going to set it with the colored powder, the Maybelline Fit Me powder first and then go over it with the Airspun. And I'm also going to go along my jawline or cheekbone. And then I'm going to go over everything with the airspun powder. So I'm going to bake for about two minutes and then I'm going to come back and dust it all off and finish the face. We're back. So now I'm going to use the actual 40 powder. I used 30 powder to set my under eyes and now I'm going to use the 40, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 40. I want to be specific and I'm going to, this one is just closer to my skin tone and I like to use it to dust off the powder because you don't want to look um ashy. Yeah. So I'm just going to I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. Warm up my face. When it comes to, you know, like professional makeup and like makeup for like professional settings, when it comes to highlight, I like to go close to my skin tone. So I'm not going to use like a bright gold. I just want to highlight my cheekbones but I don't need it to be blinding. Like if I'm doing paperwork, I don't need my highlight to be like, you know, blinding people, you know what I mean? So I have this Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 24G palette. And I mean, eyeshadows are just small highlighters and blushes. So I'm gonna use this highlighter here or this eyeshadow here to highlight my face. It's very close to my skin tone. It's not too gold, it's not too pink. It's like just right for me to use so that I have a little glow, but it's not like, you know, insane. So, we'll see. And I'm gonna use another brush to Blend it out, make sure it's not, you know, too harsh. Okay, so now moving on to the eyes. So for today's eye look, we're leaning towards the nude side. So the first color that I'm going to use is from the Box of Crayons makeup palette. And I know like what all these colors but we're gonna use the tan shade right here and I'm gonna use this literally all over my entire lid. I know that I am darker skinned and like this is not like something universal where like someone who's lighter than me or even darker than me it might not come out the same so I'm just gonna say use use something use a nude Use your nude shade. Find an eyeshadow that is your nude or something close. And I'm just gonna use this all over my lid. So then, this is the Morphe 35M palette. I'm gonna use this brown right here. 
it's like a medium brown and I'm going to blend this in my crease. I'm going to use the brown and some of the black and focus this on the outer corner and very softly it's not supposed to be like black like I just want it to really just deepen up the outer V so I'm mixing the two that's why I'm mixing it with the brown so that it you know softens out the black so it's not as hard So I'm gonna go back to my Morphe. Ugh, sorry, something out of my eye and like, Jesus. Okay, back to the tutorial. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is grab this really light shade right here. And I'm not going to like pack it on, but I'm gonna dip like a blendy brush, a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna, Add it onto my lid only because I want that area just to be a little bit more a little bit lighter because it's a this is a matte eye I want the dimension of like having a shimmer shade on the lid without actually using a shimmer me on a day-to-day -day is like big bold lashes but I'm gonna opt for something really like you know, cute and this is what I normally wear and this is what I'm going to wear today. So they're shorter, a lot more wispier, those ones are really dramatic, these ones are like cute, flirty, like, you know, more workplace friendly. So before I apply the lash, I'm going to apply some mascara very carefully so that I don't get any black on this nude eyeshadow. For the inside of my waterline, I'm going to use a dark brown pencil and then very carefully apply a little bit of mascara to your bottom lashes. And I apply it like this with the mascara wand facing upward so that it doesn't get messy. When I apply it like this, it smudges. So when it comes to lips for the workplace, I would suggest wearing something um, that if it starts to um, to fade or you know you ate and you know you don't want to wear something bright because when it starts to fade it's obvious. So I like to wear nude of course and nude in a way that it also isn't obvious when it starts to, you know, it starts to check out. So I'm going to start by using Carmex, or you can use like a lip balm or something. I just want a moisturized base. And then I'm going to use this lip liner in the shade light brown, and I'm going to very lightly line my lips. You can't even really see it, that's how like this light brown is but I do want a little bit of lip definition. I'm going to use this gloss from e.l.f. This is e.l.f. and Alyssa Ashley's collab and this is a lip gloss in the shade Nude Rose and I apply it very lightly. Just a couple of dabs and I use my finger to pat it in. And there you have it. This is the completed nude look. 
for you know your work day thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through this tutorial i hope you enjoyed watching make sure you subscribe to tsb's youtube channel make sure you like this video make sure you share this video if you like videos like this or want to see more videos like this feedback is very much appreciated and yeah my name is imani and i'm a contributor here at tsb and i will see you guys next time